How's it going? Mike here. Whoa, my hair looking good. <laughs> if I could give one bit of advice, like if somebody said, Mike, you, you got a few minutes, give us some advice. And this is all I could give. Like I, if I could only give one piece of advice. First of all, I don't know that I'm the one to be giving advice. My hair looking good though. I know that. I got it cut in a, got a nice clean shade. It would be this. Don't set your prices low to get work. Now, I mean, I, I get it. We're not talking about life and death. And if you gotta, you know, you gotta pay the bills, you gotta feed your family. I'm not talking about that. I'm just, I'm speaking in general. By the way, I'm going to do a video one of these days on knowing your worth. And it's gonna be different than what you might expect. This isn't about knowing your worth. This isn't about being prideful. This isn't some locker room speech. This isn't, I deserve this kind of money. What I mean to say is, what happens when the younger pressure washer, he might be 60 years old, but he's new, the newer pressure washer, or really any service industry, when they lower prices or just like throwing out small numbers for the purpose of getting jobs, what happens is you become known as that guy. They never remember how awesome of a job you did, but they never forget how cheap you were. Two years passes, three years passes, and you know, you're a more qualified technician than ever before. You've got state-of-the-art equipment, you've got bills like never before, and they're still wanting you to, to give that huge discount. And you're like, yeah, but if that was way back then, you gotta explain yourself at this point. And if you're willing to do that, then so be it. But I've got people today who call me and they almost act like I'm a bad guy because my, my rates are what they are. I'm like, like every year McDonald's raises their price or, or many times during the year. Walmart, oh, everybody's raising their price but I'm supposed to be the cheap guy. Well, I set myself up for disaster when I did that. When I first started out, I was doing like these, like early bird special stuff in the spring. Well, I didn't know, I, didn't, I had to do something to pick up work. And I, I'm a firm believer that portfolio outweighs short-term profits, but you can, you can create portfolio by being the best at what you do, by being your best at what you do. Shooting prices low for the sake of hoping to score jobs, that's gonna happen, I promise you, you're gonna get work. And those people will never forget. Oh, and when they're sitting around the campfire or they're getting their hair did and the conversation comes up about pressure washing, they go, oh, I know the guy. Oh yeah, you need to call, you need to call Mike. Oh my God, you would not believe how cheap he is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he did my house for, oh. And so now you're left to explain to them why your rates are so high or just give them the same discount. Well, guess what they do? It's just this revolving door of mediocrity. Actually, it's, it's less than mediocrity. This, this guy just called me. He was like, Mike, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to, I'm going to surprise my wife. I'm going to surprise my wife. Man, uh, she's not expecting this. I'm going to surprise my wife. And I'd like, I really need it to be done by next week because we're coming home from vacation. And, and man, this would, be, this would be a great, so I'm doing him a favor, right? I'm gonna make him a, a hero in his wife's eyes. And I said, yeah, man, I can do that. I can get it done for you. I'll get it done for you. I'll have it done before you get home. He said, well, how much is it gonna be? That's what he said. He said, well, how much is it gonna be? And I said, well, I don't guess it really matters, does it? I mean, you know, this is for your wife. This isn't, you're not doing it for you. You're not doing it for me. That's what I said. I said, you know, this is a big deal for your wife. So probably, he said, well, it kind of matters how much it's going to be. And when I told him what my rate was, he was like, well, man, can you cut me a break on that? I didn't know it was going to be so much. Because many, many years ago, I washed for him at another place and because we knew each other, we had some history, I kind of slid that one under. You know, it's end of the day, I already made my minimum for the day or whatever, and I'm good to go. So I just kind of went over there and washed that little whatever. 
So I be I should have charged them the first time. A fair rate, like a really fair rate. So that I didn't set myself up because now he's like, God, like you why are you so expensive? Yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> All right, Mike. The fresh rinse. And I'm almost home. See you guys.